fellow knights of chivalry. It is I, the brave and chivalrous Shovel Knight, welcoming you back to another episode of Shovel Knight Plays Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we managed to defeat the dastardly Treasure Knight, as well as Tinker Away the Tinker Knight. And we also had our very first encounter with the Enchantress, as well as a rematch with the Black Knight, who fell swiftly to our Shovel Blade. And in this episode, we will take down the next two members of the Order of No Quarter, sealing our status and opening the way to the Tower of Fate. We will start with a dear old friend of mine, turned foe, the Polar Knight, in the lair of the Stranded Ship. Time to dig in to Shovel Justice, dear friends. In this particular level, the obstacle of choice is ice. Ice platforms are plenty for to trip us up on our path. Be cautious on how you step. One false move into a pit will surely mean your demise. However, you can use the ice to your advantage if you are careful enough. See, we have wolves that we have to deal with. They are thick fur coats able to withstand the colds of this land. However, we are much stronger for our armor can keep us warm no matter the cost. As well, it can also keep us protected from the elements. Huh! As you can see, were it not for the momentum that- Oh! Almost got hit by a mole there! The Mole Knight has not given up his rowdy ways, it seems! What do we have here? Locals, I presume. Either way, watch out for their spears. But bounce on their heads to reach hidden treasures! Or sneak behind them! Good thing we did not get hit by the blast radius of that bomb! Such damage would have been terrible for us! Ugh! Regardless, onward we go! Ha <laughs> ha! That's payback for that spear attack, good sir! The first of many checkpoints has been active, and it seems we have ice wizards to contend with. Their frosty magic will put us on ice, so be cautious of every blast they send our way. As well, we have ice horse things. I'm not sure how to describe these beasts, but they use sort of horse face. As a rammer, as a ram of some kind. Guess ramming speed goes hand in hand with that particular beast. And it seems we have mighty dragons to face. But it seems as if they're holding something in their mouths. What could they have in there? Could they be holding fire? That was very close. We almost faced certain death at spike pits. However, in this particular instance, we need not worry. As long as we continue to touch the snow and create a layer, we can easily run across them. Ha! Your secret cannot be hidden from me, good sir! I am the Shovel Knight, excavator of secrets! And daughter of bombs! And reflector of magics! I am the brave and chivalrous Shovel Knight, who also takes damage unnecessarily. Although, in some cases, it is necessary to get a good hit on a boss. I explained this in a previous episode, however, I am one who takes risks for the sake of getting ahead. Unfortunately, some risks are not worth the reward, as just witnessed. And unfortunately, such risks do send us back. However, I prefer to take the risk than not have taken it at all. For you see, taking risk can get you good rewards. It all depends on what kind of risk you are willing to take. If the risk is worth the reward, then go for it. However, if you feel it is not worth it, do not proceed to go in that direction. It will only lead to certain doom and demise, as we have discovered the hard way, dear viewers. Let's see if we can blow that dragon up! Ha <laughs> ha! Justice has been served. Although, if I recall, there is a certain magical cup that seems to like dragons. I'll explain to him that these dragons were evil, and not the good kind that he is used to. Be careful of the bomb! I'm merely here to recollect what has been lost. Now I shall make my way out of here, by also taking damage unnecessarily. I am a knight who tends to get hurt more often than not, simply because of my risk-taking ways. However, a true knight is willing to take the risk for land and country. Ha ha! Or queen and country, it should be. However, I'm not sure if we have any form of royalty in this land. It could be. I'm not certain. However, whoever rules this land, I will protect with my life. Oh! And also avoid traps like that. It seems hidden walls have bombs in them. Be careful! 
What sort of magic thing is this? It seems to be a relic that shoots a magic rainbow pathway upon being hit. Quite an interesting device. We can make use of this to ascend our way forward. Out! Ha ha! Seems we're going to have to bring this forward to proceed. Simple enough. Just remove these platforms and ascend! But don't stand on the platform for too long, for if you let it weigh down, it will fall into the death abyss below. And the last thing we want is to face certain doom. But one thing we will accept is treasure beyond our wildest dreams! It seems we cannot crush him. Oh well. He shall live. His compatriot, though, will not meet the same fate. For he blocks our path. And unfortunately, those who stand in our way must be vanquished! For they serve the Tower of Fate and the Order of No Quarter. Ergo, they are villainous in nature and must face swift shovel justice. Ha ha! Hidden treasures in the wall. Always a delightful thing to, to find. Oh, this dragon seems to charge. Use this to your advantage to collect the red gems above. But be cautious. You could easily take damage as I have. Hmm. The anchor shall help us pass through this. Ha <laughs> ha. We don't want to get too close to these heathens. They seem to drop nothing but shovels or hammers, apparently. Just be careful. Do not let them hit you and proceed onward. Ah! However, that bomb suddenly took a number on us. But luckily, someone had prepared a fresh meal and left it preserved in the wall. Quite an odd thing to do, I must say. How would such fresh meat be within the walls? These are questions that require answers, dear viewers. Carefully ascend these platforms for they move. Chester, what treasure do you have for us today? The war horn. Clear space around with a powerful blow. Aha! A calling call for many knights. Seems we have trouble. War horn! Quite powerful indeed. We will have to keep this for large groups of enemies. Ha! <laughs> what a useful tool! I will definitely be making use of this for the boss ahead. Oh! We were close to death there, my compatriots. But we were just one step ahead. Be careful. Careful on the platform. Ha <laughs> ha! Taste the might of this rainbow beast! Let us make our way forward, dear friends. Now we must carefully jump across the dragon's back in order to collect riches aplenty, but also to stay alive. So, only go for that which is completely necessary. If you need the gold, go for it. However, if it is not necessary, avoid. I don't have enough for the war horn. Anchors away! Ha <laughs> ha! The Ark of Iron! Hitting three at once! Truly a devastating blow! <laughs> it is quite nice to achieve something grand. It's also great to not take damage there. We were able to avoid certain doom there, didn't we? Now then, we must ascend and continue onward. One small victory is not worthy of celebration unless we take down all of our evil doers. Be gone, Ice Mage! You will face Shovel Justice most swift! Another secret to explore, and another bit of sheet music for the bard. Always a pleasure to give him music, worthy of his strings. So I must protest one thing. He's able to summon up an orchestra of music from one mandolin. He must be a magical bard. I would believe such things. We live in a realm of magic. Who's to say that a bard could not have a magic loot that could summon an orchestra of instruments? I believe it's within the realms of possibility. That dragon could be useful. For you see, there is a music sheet right above us. If we lure the dragon close, we could, by chance, acquire it. We'll use the damage to my advantage. I have to wait for him to get closer, apparently. Right, bounce! Ugh, not close enough. It does not help that that mage is in our way. 
Oh, so close! Ha ha! We were able to attain it regardless thanks to the second dragon. It's a shame we had to use the war horn. However, that mage was starting to get on my nerves. And yes, I will admit that certain enemies are more bothersome than others. However, that's not something we must focus on right now. We must focus on the polar knight ahead. Old friend. So, oh, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Should we not lay down our shovels and part as equals? Hm. The Order has no equals. Surely you can recognize power. Join us. You've forgotten our oath! What happened to the proud warrior I knew? Hm. No more words. The bitter cold will claim you. The only thing this bitter cold will claim will be your icy heart! Come to your senses, friend! I'm only trying to protect us! Keep us safe from the Order's evil! Why do you not see that? You leave me no choice, old friend. I will vanquish you! Or I shall fall to my demise. It is a shame when friends quarrel. However, sometimes... Desperate times call for desperate measures. And in this instance, I am left with no other choice. Though it is a choice I wish not to make. Polar Knight and I, we were close friends back in our shoveling days. We used to dig for treasure countless hours. We would adventure from land to land, trying to find the rarest of antiquities. He and I were inseparable, like brothers in arms. However, he was seduced by the Order's wishes. Unfortunately, there was nothing I could do to stop it. So, with that said, I must do what a knight has to do. I must defeat him! It's unfortunate that it must be done this way. However, there was no other option. And with that, there is only one member of the Order of No Quarter left. The Propeller Knight, in his Sky Fortress. But rest is necessary first. We must prepare for the battle ahead. For after this fight, only the Enchantress and the Tower of Fate remains. Ha! Huh. We only have one more night to face before it truly becomes the final battle. Two locks down and one to go. The Flying Machine, the Lair of the Propeller Knight. Quite an interesting fellow, this one. Quite pompous, if I must say. However, we will vanquish him as we have vanquished the rest! Ha <laughs> ha! This particular stage has the gimmick of being air-based. This means that you have to be careful of how you jump. For in this instance, pits are more active than ever. As well, you have obstacles that are air-based, including air-based monsters, like electric jellyfish! So be cautious as you use your shovel, dear friends. Hup! Oh! I allowed myself to get shocked. However, as fate would have it, I had just enough space to land on the platform. Aha! Hidden treasures that even I didn't even know about until now. It is interesting to see that even now, many years later, there are still treasures to be discovered. A split magician, able to use his magic and upon contact, Splitting the magic in two! Quite a unique specimen. <laughs> specimen? What an odd choice of word. Sound like the Plague Knight, or even the Tinker Knight. <laughs> Quite an interesting bit of folly. Ah, it seems that particular enemy is back. And instead of summoning, he is using his propeller to push us back. Quite an interesting use of magic and resourcefulness. I can commend that. Ah, an interesting knight, using a halberd as a weapon, as well as a propeller to utilize speed. Quite a unique concept. <laughs> I'll have to consider that for aerial-based attacks. Hmm, I have to be careful of these cannonballs. They're rather large, as well these smaller ones. Ah, you can bounce on them to attain this secret. <laughs> but is it a secret, though? Or have I just gone down the path that is necessary? Hmm. Is 
it a secret if it is the way you need to go? These are questions that are left for us knights to ponder. However, the only thing I should ponder at this point is why the rats have returned! These rats should have been left at the Plague Knight's lair! Even a man like this uses rats so innocently! Dare they? Who would use rats in such horrid ways? Phase locked! Don't want to take the risk and take unnecessary hits! I cannot take damage again! Although it seems I might be. Just be careful of that rudder! Ah! And I was not careful of said rudder! Must be careful of how I maneuver with that particular enemy. However, that will not stop me. I have felled you once already. You are of no concern to me. It seems that it is the path forward. Quite interesting. I presume that it was a secret path. However, I did miss this pile of treasure. Allow me to rectify this mistake. Ha! 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 I quite enjoy a good bounce every now and again simply because it is quite enjoyable. You get to fly freely. I guess that's why the Propeller Knight enjoys the skies. He was always into the aerodynamics and the sky, always wanting to soar towards the heavens, much like Icarus and his wings made of clay. However, much like Icarus, if you fly too close to the sun, you will ultimately get burned. I feel that that is what has happened to the Propeller Knight. He has flown too close and gotten burned for his actions in working with the Enchantress. It is a shame, really. All of these knights have great skill, and yet they use it for evil. I don't understand the reason. You have great abilities. Why use them for evil in this way? Whatever the reason, I must put an end to it. Bounce on this cannonball to make your way forward, and activate the next checkpoint. Now we don't have to go as far for when we get to the next time. Ha! Ah! Oh, how did I forget that that particular propeller was there? I should have remembered this. Oh well, now I do. Ha <laughs> Thank you, dear friend. Though you are trying to stop me in my efforts, you have actually helped me in a way. Hmm. Aha! It's a shame that- Aha! It is a secret! I know my ways well! Ha <laughs> ha! I had a feeling this was a secret path. You cannot fool me! Chester, my boy! What treasure do you have here today? The propeller dagger. Ooh. Soar through the sky, blade first! Now this is a weapon worthy of a knight! Ha ha! Now I too can fly at high speed! Ah, seems it can be stopped with the right force. Whoa! I almost fell to my doom at that point. Ha <laughs> ha! But I would not let such trickery stop me. Ha <laughs> ha! As a knight, you must train yourself in body, mind, and spirit to be ready for all obstacles, no matter how perilous. Now then, onward we go. Hmm. Be careful how I bounce on these jellyfish. They seem to electrify at key points. Two, three, four, five! All a pattern. Once you memorize the pattern, you should be able to ascend no problem! Locked your blast with my propeller dagger! No! Ha <laughs> ha! As fate would have it, I was not meant to fall to electric this day. Now then, shoot your magic, fool. You will face justice, peon. Ha ha ha! Now then, onward we go! I said, onward! I meant to go onward, but apparently that was not what fate had in store for me. Seems the tower of fate is trying to stop me at every chance it can get, even in a simple level like this. Quite unfair, to be honest. No, not again! Such simple mistakes are the folly of knights sometimes. Even a knight as chivalrous and brave as myself can admit to faults as simple as these. One can make mistakes. It's quite common in our field. We all make mistakes, but we must learn from them to continue forward, as I have continued forward onto this stage. I'm going to need a refill of magic, though. 
in order to keep using my propeller dagger to its fullest. It seems these propeller boys do not want me to pass. However, I will not let them deter me from my quest. Seems the winds are trying to prevent us from moving forward, but thanks to this propeller dagger, we don't have to worry as much. However, we do have to be concerned for these falling platforms. They can be a bit of an issue. However, moving gallantly along will get us our rewards, as well as magic that we can use to ascend forward. Well, proceed forward. Ascend upward would be the correct terminology to use here. The mixture of the cannonballs and the falling platforms, traversing this particular obstacle is no concern of ours. We've reached another checkpoint. Not too much longer now before we find that pompous propeller knight. Ugh. There are times I cannot stand his attitude, thinking that he is high and mighty. Reminds me of King Knight in a way. However, not as bad, I would say. I'd say his only issue is that he's a bit of an egotist. Oh! But then again, ego is the folly of most men who believe that they are of a greater caliber. One must recognize that their abilities are incredulous. Yes, well not incredulous, incredible. However, there are always others in this field and one must be ready to face them no matter the challenge. However, always respect that these people have different abilities to your own. <laughs> you could not stop me. What do we have here? It seems the winds change. We must move carefully across. Or if we go too far up, we will get spiked. An unfortunate fate to all of us platforming characters. As well as knights. Well, you see, these spikes are instantaneous death, as I have mentioned many times before. This wind will take us forward, as well as upward. Oh, no! I did not plan accordingly for the shift in wind. However, we are closer to the propeller knight. Let us continue to move forward. Right, now it shall go up. And down again. It seems it also stops us mid-jump, propelling us downward if we're not careful. One must use the winds accordingly. Right, and up. Shift us to the left. Then up again. Right, shift in wind. Take down the rat. Right, wind shift. Nice. It's a shame to leave behind treasure. However, in this instance, it is a necessary evil. This is all about your bounce. Make sure you bounce carefully, otherwise you face certain doom. It is now time to face the final member of the Order of No Quarter, the Propeller Knight! <laughs> My petite blue friend, the sunset, she is beautiful, no? Get down here and face me, you gyroscopic jester! <laughs> so rude. My crew, they were not hospitable. My ship, it was not magnificent. I'm not here to be entertained! I must reach the Tower of Fate! All business, no pleasure. Such a shame. Very well. On guard! Now see what I mean by pompous? He feels that he is quite the entertainer, but in reality he's a charlatan and a joke! And I will not be felled so easily by such tomfoolery! Ha! It's a shame he left his propeller dagger so easily here. What? Cannonballs are plenty! I will admit, I was not prepared for him having a backup ship. Always good to know your enemies front and back, to prepare accordingly for battle. But this time, I will not be felled, Propeller Knight! On guard! I will defeat you! Not this time, you don't! Taste my shovel blade! Your rapier is no match for me! Anchors away! Be careful of those cannonballs. They've created a hole for us. If you're not careful, you could get hurt. Or worse yet, fall down to your doom. I must admit, of the knights, Propeller Knight does have quite a strategy in place. 
He's quite the trickster, but his trickster ways allow him to be quite swift. However, his form is ungraceful, skipping instead of staying there and doing a proper lunge. Why one would ever do such a silly skip is beyond me. Right, he's going to send the ship anchors away. These anchors are quite useful. One of the more useful items in our repertoire. As he charges down, prepares to try and blow us off the ship, which he sadly does. Again, mistakes are a common thing to make as a knight. Do not let them stop you. Learn from them, grow from them, become stronger from them, and ultimately you will be more rounded in the future. On guard, you fool! Haha! <laughs> anchors away! I do enjoy using these anchors as weapons. They are quite useful. No! I allowed myself to get hit over the pit. Quite a foolish mistake. Oh well. Forwards! We'll try this again and defeat this peon! I will admit, his uniform is rather nice. However, as a knight, I feel it is not the best thing to use. Phase Locket! I tried to use Phase Locket, unfortunately it did not go in time. Alright, Anchors! Ha! Oh, bombs! Instead of cannons? Quite an interesting change! Seems that this propeller knight has quite a few tricks up his sleeve. Now come the cannonballs. Right. Two more hits and he is defeated. Be careful. Do not allow yourself to fall yet. Your defeat has been made! And you fall as gracefully as your ship flies. Fool. And with that, all eight knights of the Order of No Quarter have been vanquished. <sighs> it's time to rest a little bit. Knowing now what comes next only reminds me of that night, that fateful night, where I lost her. My Darling Shield Knight. These nightmares have plagued me since the beginning. I will not let them sway me any longer. I will not allow these nightmares to keep me down. I will move forward. I will save her. I will stop this madness from spreading any further. And it must end with the defeat of the Enchantress and her dark magic! This journey has been long and tireless. However, it is through this journey that I have grown. I am now ready to face the trials that lie ahead. The trials of the final area. The Tower of Fate. This is where it ends. The final levels of the game. The Tower of Fate itself. We must first maneuver through its entrance, and then the dreaded tower itself. All of this will unfold in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching up to this point, fellow knights. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and your comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, ring that notification bell, and be sure that all notifications are on, so you know when we are conquering the Enchantress once and for all. Also, share this video around with your friends and family. Let them know of the chivalrous adventure you have been on. And with that said, this has been Shovel Knight. Glory unto thee! See you next time! <laughs>